picking my license plate, plate name. <laughs> Even though I know I could change it later, it's just... Oh, absolutely. It still feels like it's, it's a decision of consequence, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and Andy going with the default. Yeah. Uh. He didn't force us all to sit here watching him uh, <laughs> select his name. I guess we should intro Andy. Yeah, so for anyone wondering, you will hear an additional voice on stream today, and that is the wonderful Andy, hey, who is going to be playing, uh, or actually doing the gameplay today, but we decided we didn't want him on camera, so he's just, he's just sat off to the side. He looks excellent, if anyone's if You may get a sneak peek of him at some point. Yeah, exactly. yeah baby steps. Yeah, exactly. Work my way up to being on camera. You'll be on the sofa next yeah. time, we promise. <laughs> Okay, so we've picked the car, we've picked the license plate, we're going to our first showcase event. What is this going to be? Talk us through what we're about to drive up to. Yeah, so we've taken part in the initial drive. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just seen uh, four separate cars drop out of the back of a cargo plane. <laughs> and we thought, well, what next? Let's go race against that cargo plane. And so this is a showcase event in which uh, we will take on that cargo plane. Perfect. And we're also hearing some characters talking during this drive as well. Who are they? Do we recognize them? Are they new? Um, the voice you can hear right now is a Scott Tyler, the only character to have appeared in all, all five Horizon games. Mm -hmm. uh, he is our, our resident DJ on on Horizon Base Arena. Um, he's also the hype man uh, at, the, at, the, at the festival. Mm -hmm. um, and in this instance, if I wasn't talking over it, you'd have heard him saying that he's, <laughs> he, he's just been pulled off mic. He's been dragged out of the, uh, dragged out of the booth for a reason that might become obvious in, in just a few minutes' time. Uh, we're also in, in Mullahay now as well, right? Yeah, we're in Mullahay, which is this, very, uh, this town that's right in the middle of the living desert. Um, very uh, nice, charming town. And just outside the town is uh, some festival goers. What are they doing here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm really excited. This I won't lie to you. There's something, there's something so exhilarating about the showcases. I cannot wait to see this. What's it like actually making a showcase, especially following the ones? For me, the ones that resonate with me the most is Forza Horizon 4. So how does how does that compare to making five? I imagine there's an element of one-upping yourself, right? Yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> a, How do we very, do four again, but bigger and better? <laughs> I mean, that, that exact sentiment applies to almost the entire game. Mm -hmm. um, and it is uh, absolutely a challenge. And, and some people have said that we need to stop treating that as a, a, <laughs> as a strategy because it, well, we will reach a point where uh, we won't be able to one-up ourselves. But um, right now, we feel like that is future Playground Games' problem and not one, that, not one that we need to worry about because uh, I think this probably is one of our most uh, spectacular showcases uh, we've put together so far. Uh, Andy actually designed this. So uh, Andy, our, our resident driver, who um, you, you may hear the voice of very soon, uh, was actually the, the level designer who uh, put this showcase together. So uh, if anybody can drive it in a perfect fashion, it will be him. That's added uh, some pressure. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Man. It's also a new car, isn't it, Andy? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Ken Block's V2 Escort Cosworth. Uh, it's uh, an amazing car built with sort of uh, modern rally specs in mind with all the aerodynamics and uh, insane grip that those cars have these days. And of course, an amazing livery. Amazing livery. Which says Forza Horizon on it as well, which is lovely. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's. It's not, is it like 300 horsepower? It's uh, like yeah, I think it's 370 horsepower. Okay, 370. So not crazy powerful, but super lightweight um, and can, can really move. Um, because it's light as well, the brakes are awesome. So even in a, some of the tricky driving maneuvers you'll have to pull in a minute, it is possible to slow down really fast. Yeah, and, uh, and Ken Block's uh, Jim Carner videos are a, a massive inspiration for me as well. Oh, wow. Um, what, for the showcase event? Process. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, it, was a, it was something that I considered when I was sort of making it. If, um, if Horizon was to make one of the Jim Carner videos, you know, what would we do? So that's the sort of uh, the lens that I would take. The event. Right. <laughs> A plane becomes bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing, right into Guanajuato, um, which is our main city in the game. That's those good brakes. Yeah. And just like we've shown in, uh, you know, previous previous footage, Guanajuato is like super beautiful city with uh, mm. uh, undulate, um, undulating roads and an underground uh, tunnel network. Um, there's actually a mural right there by Spake, one of the mural artists, um, our Mexican mural mural artist. Um, and yeah, I just love the, the color and the, the architecture, the Baroque and neoclassical architecture in here. Um, there you uh, get a shot of the Guanajuato Basilica. One of the most iconic buildings in yeah. all of Mexico. <laughs> wow. It's a stunning building. Yeah. It's storm has it in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look at the colours as well. I will never forget you said this to me on stream previously of all the houses being different shades and it's so gorgeous. Yeah, and you can't have the same colour house next to each other. Mm -hmm. I like that they all taking their own little um, off routes as well. They're just sort of like coming out of nowhere. Yeah, that's the thing about these uh, showcase opponents. They will do anything mm -hmm. to win. Um, always, up, always up to tricks, aren't they, Andy? <laughs> yeah. You've always got to keep, keep the player second guessing what's going on. Oh, absolutely. Right up in the in the northern tip of the map at the moment as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll get a glimpse of the canyon, but we'll take a closer look later. Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> so that bike knew he was beaten. He knew he didn't have a chance. So he has uh, he has switched to a wingsuit for the uh, the final <laughs> stretch. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, very good. He probably had us beat if he was willing to face plant into the road there. <laughs> he, had to, uh, he had to pull his chute and that allowed You have to make to a choice at that point, don't you? Whether you want to win or whether you want to survive the race. Oh, that was incredible. Can you give us any more hints? Obviously, the showcases are so amazing. Can you give us any hints of maybe other showcases that we've got coming up? Or, I don't know, what you're happy to say? Well, I don't want to spoil it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've still got so much more to talk about. Uh, we do have four showcases in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, one that I am particularly excited about is the train showcase. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had a train showcase in every Horizon game, but I think this time it really is the, the best train showcase, uh, showcase we have ever done. Uh, and I'm really excited to show it off, but that is for another day. I'm looking forward to that. So what are we going to look at next? I think we're going to start talking about some of the cars. A couple of modes. And it's quite common for performance cars to have uh, different modes. Um, but they don't... Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry, mate. Um, they don't always... Uh, they're not always as cool as this. So on the, on the steering wheel, there's a button that you can press which swaps you from uh, track mode to street mode. So if Andy gives it a click... Um, we'll, we're currently in track mode and we'll transition to street mode. So you see those oh, yeah. fins over the wheel arch close, the, the, the spoiler dips down uh -huh. and the car actually lowers, oh, sorry, raises on its suspension. So if you need to get over a speed bump or pull up into your drive, mm -hmm. uh, then you might put it into this mode. Um, it also kind of smooths out some of the lines, looks, looks a bit sleeker. Um, the cool thing about that is you can just click that button whenever in, as, you're, as you're driving around the world and it really changes the performance of the car mm -hmm. as well. I was about to ask what, how you would like actively use it in Forza actually. Was like, there a Sunday drive version of the car versus a race mode? Uh, that is literally what it is to be honest. Oh, yeah. um, this probably isn't the, the place that that car would mostly <laughs> be at home, smashing, <laughs> smashing through those poor <laughs> farmers' polytunnels, <laughs> wrecking all the crops. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it, it kind of shows what the car can do. It's still a really powerful, awesome car and apparently is perfectly drivable <laughs> <laughs> through a farm field. Yeah. And uh, uh, as you can tell, we're in a new biome that we haven't shown before, which is the Mexican uh, farm field, which is, I guess, farmland is, is a, a staple of Horizon games uh, mm -hmm. by now. Um, and definitely for uh, Forza Horizon 5, we have like some unique Mexican uh, crops, um, which Andy will drive by. I think we saw um, him driving through some agave um, previously. What, are we going to go trash now? What's this? Yeah. <laughs> so this, these are Mexican beans. Oh. Yeah, bean plants. Got a rough harvest. Yeah. Around <laughs> I think it's wor worth saying as well uh, at this juncture that we are currently looking at Xbox Series X gameplay, mm -hmm. um, but it is a development build, so if you happen to spot, spot <laughs> any, any weird little quirks and bugs, then um, that is purely because it's a development game build. game development for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, hey, it might even crash. We'll uh, hopefully <laughs> 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 so, um, wouldn't be the first fate with that one. <laughs> More beans. And here we have some, uh, another crop, sorghum. And the cool thing with sorghum because it's so tall and you could squash them, you could actually make some really awesome crop signs uh, in the fields. <laughs> leave messages want, for other players. You can leave messages for other players, yeah. <laughs> and contrary to what Andy may have made you believe, there are actually roads within the, uh, within the farmland <laughs> as well. It's just think like a great car to just toot around everywhere and just, I don't know, this looks like my go-to sort of, I'm just going to drive really fast over a hill and get somewhere car. <laughs> I think, um, right, yeah, right now we'll, uh, we'll cut away and just do a little switch. Oh, we're on to the next car, are we? Okay, so the next one, what's this? What are we going to be looking at? We are going to check out the 967 Mark I Ford Escort. So from going from one of the um, 
hottest, newest cars in the world. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to take a look at something a, a little bit more of a, a classic motor. Mm -hmm. um, and there it is, the, uh, the Mark 1 Ford Escort, an absolute icon, honestly. Um, I think Andy's going to tell us a bit more about this one, Andy. What's, yeah. what's cool about this? Uh, OK, so this is uh, quite a fitting car because this car took part in a rally in 1970 from the UK to Mexico. OK. Uh, so I guess that's sort of a horizon to four to five transition there. Um, Interesting yeah, lore so it's about a, it. <laughs> a 16,000 mile rally uh, across the world there. And uh, yeah, and this, and this car won. So it's based on uh, Mark 1 Escort RS 1600, which they, which they beefed up to handle all of the, uh, all of the terrain that it would, uh, it would have to handle across the world. Uh, and it did such a fantastic job at it. Those wheel arches are amazing, aren't they? For the for it, for the time, they look they look yeah. really kind of modern. <laughs> yeah, so the big bubble star rally arches. It's got uh, on the front of it. If I try and not hit anything, the big bull bar, <laughs> uh, sort of rough bumper on the back as well, and and the little individual lights, which are different to the factory car as well. So everything just to make it, you know, as uh, easy to fix on the road as possible. And where is it that we're at now? This is over by the coast, isn't it? Yeah, so we've oh, just wow. uh, transitioned from farmland through a little bit of jungle, and now we're at the tr actually at the tropical coast. Um, I think we'll do a, a, another uh, car switch right now. Oh, oh wait, look oh. at that. Yeah. That's just as we dip the feed. We'll, look yeah. at that. We'll, look, yeah. we'll take a look at that in a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so up next is another car, and I, this is going to be... I'm gonna sh I'm gonna say it another Bronco. This is yeah yes this is another Bronco. <laughs> we had, there are actually four separate versions of the Bronco in the, in the game. All awesome. All have their own uh, own personalities mm -hmm. and reasons for being there. Um, this one's a Baja one, isn't it, Andy? This is yes, it. that's right. Um, yes, yeah, so we have obviously the the Bronco Badlands is on the cover. We have the classic 1975 Bronco. <laughs> uh, we have the Bronco Ultra Four, which was actually in the initial drive as well. You kind of start to oh. jump over uh, the Porsche 911 in the jungle section. Um, <laughs> And then there's this one, which is the... Uh... Andy, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people are on holiday. <laughs> Better look out. <laughs> so yeah, the tropical coast is, is definitely one, uh, compared to the west, uh, the rocky coast, mm -hmm. definitely like the ideal um, uh, kind of vacation destination, you know? Yeah. The, the ideal uh, visual that you see when uh, thinking of Mexico. And as perfect postcard it does look at the moment, yeah. uh, if you're playing in storm season, this is one of the areas that can, um, when the weather conditions are right, can, mm -hmm. um, can have tropical storms, oh. which turn it from this perfect paradise into a really kind of <laughs> like intense, exciting, and visceral um, like storm experience. Wow. Which is uh, a really cool thing to just drive, drive through. <laughs> the idea of calling it a perfect paradise after Andy's been through. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, we'll do another... Another car, car change. Yeah. So many car changes here. So the next one, where are we going next? What have we got? We have got the uh, Ford F450 Super Duty, which is uh, a, a pretty exciting car for us as well, isn't it? It's uh, an absolutely massive truck. Uh, it's a Julie as well, <laughs> so it's got, um, it's got four wheels on that back axle, like uh -huh. two, two wheels side by side each side. Um, means it's just got, like... Like ridiculous grunt in the back, it can go over any terrain, um, and it's absolutely massive. That is a big, yeah. Look at that. So what's that? I mean, to me, that tells me that's an off-road vehicle, right? I'm trying to think, like, in a very sort of way, like, what I would pick this car to do, like, cross-country or those sort of, like, off-road races, right? Uh, I think certainly in the game, uh, that yeah. is probably where you take it. I yeah. think in real life, you'd probably... It could also be a, a, a work truck or even an everyday truck if, sure. if you're a truck person. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's certainly it's yeah, it's got that Ford Tough uh, DNA, hasn't it? Mm. So yeah, it's built uh, built for the road, built for off road, built for d doing work in it, yep. built for ch chucking all your camping gear in the back or a jet ski <laughs> or something. Everyone's camping gear in the back. Hopefully, we stumble upon one of our ambient trucks or buses around the world, so you can oh. see just how big this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> it is massive. Yeah, it's, uh, 6.7 litre diesel engine. It's got a thousand foot pound of torque, which is just Whoa. insane. You, you could you pull your whole house along if you wanted to. <laughs> Put your house in the, in the bed yeah. on the back. All that, yeah. <laughs> With our little English houses. True Amer American vehicle. <laughs> 
And where is it uh, on the map are we at the moment, Don? So we are in the uh, Arid Hills, which is perfect to show off the, the off-roading and uh, power of this uh, mm -hmm. F450. Uh, um, yeah, we're in the Arid Hills, and the Arid Hills, is, it's very kind of wild with these dense pockets of, uh, of trees, um, which makes it really fun to, um, when you're beelining across the world, to kind of just dodge some trees and hit some smashable ones. Um, so it's a very engaging experience for driving around, and obviously you see th there's a bunch of uh, undulation as well. Um, the, the Arid Hills actually sits just outside of Guanajuato, so okay. um, that's where, why Guanajuato is so undulating, because it's, it's, it's set cool. with, uh, in a nest of hills. This is one of my favorite areas to, uh, for, for Eliminator, <laughs> to <laughs> grab, grab a good off-road car with a bit of suspension movement and then just lurk around here and any, <laughs> yeah. any, any unsuspecting car which doesn't have that suspension movement can get, get eaten alive. Um, I love the idea of you guys just having like an afternoon where you all just set each other in the Eliminator. That is absolutely what we do, that's Friday, yeah. Friday afternoons. Right? <laughs> <laughs> love it. Is there any like unbeaten champions at the moment? Um, no, no one's. No, there's not anyone unbeaten. It's quite hard, yeah. I think, to stay unbeaten and eliminate when there's so many players. <laughs> and then here we're transitioning into the canyon, the canyon biome. And we haven't seen the canyon yet either on stream, have we? No, we haven't seen it since it's since so the E3 demo. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's an absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Andy <laughs> tried to park my house. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh, we switch to yeah, we'll yeah. switch up. So we're going to go through yeah. the canyon with another new car. And what's this one going to be? So we saw a few Fords. Um, yeah. Now we're going to check out the uh, Porsche Macan Rally Raid. Mm -hmm. um, so this, as you can see, is uh, it's, this isn't uh, a Macan as you would uh, pick it up from the showroom. Uh, this is one that's been built by LP Racing, as it says on the back, who are actually kind of an aftermarket um, provider of mo motorcycle parts okay. um, for like really performance motorcycles, but they also have a, a motorsports arm that do motorcycle racing and also uh, endurance car racing. And this is one of the cars that they've built for. Mm -hmm. is, is it for the Baja? Uh, this is more sort of Dakar style. Dakar, racing, sorry. But, um, yeah, it's, but it's quite cool. It's, uh, if the, um, the Escort Mexico was the sort of 1960s version, this is the, uh, this is the modern version of uh, the go anywhere, endure everything racing style. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Land Rover Defender just feeling like he can go anywhere he wants. I think he saw you in his rear view mirror. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I showed him how to do it. So. <laughs> so, Tom, what can you tell us about the uh, canyons as we go through it here? It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, so the canyon's really all about scale and um, just the impressive rock cliff faces. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of just. Thinking. Yeah, um, it's actually during sunset and sunrises, you get amazing uh, sunlight. So. I know. For uh, photographers, it's a great um, area to, uh, to get okay. some photography. Yeah, because of those huge like rock cliff faces as well, uh, it's like one of the best locations in the game to really take advantage of the uh, ray traced audio. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a car like this and you're, happy, you're flying along next to next to this rocky wall, you can just hear the the sound of your engine like bouncing off the wall and coming yeah, back. Yeah. It really makes everything feel like you're uh, nestled in a real place. Sneak peek of the uh, the train track yeah. as well. <laughs> oh yeah. It just looks like a really fun place to drive through. It's like, it, because of the hills, it doesn't tell me there's a lot of shortcuts over this area. So actually, it's the type of place where you just enjoy being on the road. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is right. This is, this is one of the places where, in real life, you'd go there just for the drive. Exactly. Yeah, you weren't exactly. actually going anywhere. You just drove there, <laughs> drove the roads, and then we're like, let's drive it back again. Soak up a bit yeah. of nature. Let's try a bit of off-road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, train track again. There we go. You know where you're going, Andy. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the great thing about the canyon. You have like a good off-road experience, plus you have a good on-road experience as yeah. well. Um, in parallel. Let's try and get back on road again. Oh, train track again. <laughs> Don't stay there too long. Again. <laughs> <laughs> right. And yeah. We're going to check out uh, another car. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got one more to yes, go please. through. And this is staying in the Porsche family, this one, isn't it now? It is, yes. Yeah. So that one was the uh, Porsche Macan. That was a, a purpose-built racing machine. Mm -hmm. This one is uh, a car that 
it's not an everyday car, but it's one that normal people can purchase if, <laughs> if they walked into a Porsche dealer, unlike the, uh, <laughs> unlike the previous vehicles. This is the uh, Porsche Taycan Turbo S, uh, which is Porsche's uh, brand new performance electric vehicle. Mm, so actually uh, the second electric car on the stream today as well. Uh, yes, so the AMG1 is, is a hybrid, so it's got an electric motor. This mm -hmm. is 100% electric, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a, frankly a, a fantastic car. So the way, the way Porsche have approached uh, this with their very first EV is they wanted to recreate the driving experience of a 911, but in uh, an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. And that's especially difficult because it obviously has to have a massive battery and weighs about 2.4 tons. Wow. Um, <laughs> and despite that uh, pretty incredible uh, weight, it... 0 to 60 is in 2.6 seconds, top speed 160. Uh, it's, you know, um, I haven't had the joy of driving one, unfortunately, but I uh, apparently drive basically just like a 911, which is a you know, fairly lightweight sports Ooh. car. Sorry. Sorry, mate, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to know Andy drives like me too. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was in the UK again. <laughs> celebrity, celebrity owners include uh, Will Smith. Oh. And, and apparently someone told me just before we came on air, Bill Gates has one as well. Oh, it? as you do. Yeah, so perhaps not the car for, for everybody, but it's, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, uh, <laughs> but maybe your dreams can one day come true. Exactly, exactly. And if so. not, Forza Horizon 5, out in November, play it then. <laughs> Great plug, Charlie. Thank you. Remem remembering why we're thank all here. You, thank uh, you, thank <laughs> you. Like that little area on the corner there. So you've driven it, Andy. Does it, does it, does it do it? Did it feel like a 911? Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Incredible car. <laughs> Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to point out here was mm -hmm. butterflies. Butterflies? So, yeah, so actually, um, in, uh, during a certain season in <gasps> Mexico, Love. there's a big monarch butterfly migration that happens um, in the canyon uh, uh, areas. Um, so yeah, we, we kind of represented that in our game as well. This is such a stunning <laughs> like, additional element to add. Because it would only be if you, you go and stop here, you would see that. Because only people are like bombing through it all. Yeah. That's so authentic. I love it. Look at them all. Yeah, so you'll experience this in the spring season, uh -huh. um, and then um, it won't be there in spring, obviously, but yeah. Lovely. I think we wanted to drop one more, because there was one more bit we wanted to show. Um, I, I don't know how to set this up. What do you guys want? To, what are we going to do now? So we actually revealed this car on, uh, on social media last week, and we just thought it would be cool to... Give it a little, a little, a very, very, very brief run around. Oh, so this is the Sierra is. RX3. Um, it's a UTV, so off, super off-road vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, but it also is actually really high performance on asphalt as well. It can do both types of racing. Incredible suspension travel if Andy wants to uh, give it a whirl. Oh. They instantly <laughs> spin into a barrier. Yeah. A lot of power going to the rear wheels only, so it is a bit of a handful. Um, <laughs> yeah, but there's just... Uh, we're, in, we're, in the, we're heading up into the arid hills now, which mm -hmm. is just the, uh, I think, the perfect location to, uh, to show some of the cool stuff that this, uh, this particular car can do. Um, as Andy decides oh. to... Oh, Andy. <laughs> 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 All right, oh, there we go. A 